Hey guys, it's me and Riley, and we're back. That's right, we are back. Well, we went fishing occasionally in May, maybe a total of three or four trips, but we snuck out every once in a while. On this particular afternoon, it was a low tide and nice and calm, so I picked up a Zoom Super Hog and started flipping around these little grass mats. I'm only using a 30 pound braid, so sometimes you gotta be careful, but you need to do that in this clear water. Well, that solid three was the only uh, decent fish we could find out of that grass mat, although I saw quite a few other ones cruising around, couldn't get in a bite. So we moved on up the river, found another spot. If you noticed that house, you'd probably notice the spot. But uh, the water is very clear. You could see these fish cruising back and forth. And on this particular flip, I just seen a fish cruise by and I nailed him. <laughs> I saw him swimming. I saw him swimming right there. <laughs> uh, there. Just a little guy. I saw him cruising. I said, I'm going to catch that one. I sure did. As soon as he did it, come at it. There's two. Not a very big one. We just got fun fish. Well, one thing about May is we certainly had to move around from spot to spot to find our fish, but any little piece of cover seemed to hold something. Got one off the back end of this boat. It's always nice to finish off the day with a nice fish. This one went three pounds, 12 ounces. Solid fish for the day. Riley sure did enjoy that one. Here Riley and I are out on a morning trip. About a week or so later, two weeks later. And uh, this water is really clear in this area, so I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce swim jig instead of the chatterbait. I'm also throwing it on 15 pound test fluorocarbon.
here we are on that same day, actually later that morning. Cold front came through, wind picked up, so I grabbed my jacket and my chatterbait rod. That was the trick. blowing us down that bank and I kept fishing it we started picking up one fish after another that was a fun little stretch there got these two back to back So here we are, we had just finished fishing a uh, large, basically mud flat now, it used to be full of weeds, but didn't get too much on that, a couple dinks. Came down across, got to the point where we could see some weeds in the water now, and picked up one last good fish for the trip. One last good fish for me.